This is a bacterium and this is a bacteriophage. Bacteriophages are viruses that infects bacterium. Even though these bacteriophages are enemies, they help in the evolution of this bacterium by transferring genes from one bacterium to another. The process is called as transduction. Or transduction is a bacteriophage mediated gene transfer in bacteria during sequential infection. In this video, we'll be discussing transduction, the two types of transduction, generalized and specialized, and also the importance of transduction. Let's begin with the generalized transduction. As the term suggests, generalized transduction means any random fragment of the host may be transferred by the phage, or it occurs when a random piece of bacterial DNA is transferred by the phage during the lytic cycle. Remember, generalized transduction takes place during lytic cycle. So let us see the details. During bacteriophage infection, the step one is attachment of this bacteriophage to the surface of the host. Then this is followed by the injection of genetic material. So this is the host DNA and this is a phage, phage genome. Third step, biosynthesis, then replication of this phage genome and also the synthesis of protein coat or capsid. Also the degradation of host DNA. This host DNA or bacterial DNA is cut into fragments. This is followed by maturation. The genome is assembled or packaged inside this capsid. During this packaging, by mistake, sometimes the bacterial DNA that is present may get packaged into this phage capsid. As you see, this one and this one. Next step in lytic cycle is lysis. Cell lysis releasing or bursting of this bacterial cell, releasing the phages, newly made phages. So these phages may infect another bacterium. This is bacterium 2. So as you see, this phage is having some DNA of this previous host, this color, and this green color and this red color. And this phage, when infects bacterium 2, it injects the DNA. Sometimes this DNA gets integrated into the genome of this bacterium by homologous recombination. So this bacterium 2 has the DNA fragment of this bacterium 1. So this is called as generalized transduction. By chance, any fragment of this bacterium 1 may get transferred to this bacterium 2. That is why this is called as generalized transduction as any fragment of this bacterium 1 may get transferred to the next bacterium. Hope you are clear. The next one is the specialized transduction. As the term suggests here, a specific fragment of DNA near the integration site is transferred. Or it occurs at the end of the lysogenic cycle when the prophage is excised and the bacteriophage enters the lytic cycle. Let us see the detail. So as we said earlier, first step is attachment of this bacteriophage to the surface of the bacterium. In lysogenic cycle, as we know that this phage genome gets integrated into the bacterial genome, this is called as prophage. Phage genome that is integrated to the bacterial genome is called as prophage. At a later stage, maybe due to some environmental changes like UV exposure or some chemical exposure, this phage is excised from this bacterial chromosome, maybe with some pieces of this bacterial DNA. Then this DNA is packaged. So some portion of this bacterial genome is also excised and that is attached to the phage genome. Later this is packaged. An induction of lytic cycle happened due to some environmental changes, maybe UV exposure or chemical exposure. So this phage genome is excised with some portion of bacterial genome and this may be packaged into a capsid. This is followed by lysis of this bacterium, releasing the new phages. As you see, the phage containing both viral and bacterial DNA infect a new host cell. And this is followed by integration of that phage DNA and bacterial genome to the new bacterium. So the phage DNA along with the attached bacterial DNA gets incorporated into the new cell. This is called a specialized transduction. So suppose this is the integration site. Only the genes that is 
on the either side of the integration site or the DNA fragments of one of the side gets transferred. That is why this transduction is called as specialized transduction. Hope you are clear. And finally, the importance of transduction. By means of transduction, the bacteria gets some new genes. Often that genes provides antibiotic resistance or involved in sugar metabolism, providing new pathways for utilizing resources or nutrients. It helps bacteria to adapt to new environment and also in the evolution of bacteria. So we are using this capacity of this phages to introduce our gene of interest into bacterium. So we are using bacteriophages in gene transfer, one of the most efficient gene transfer methods as a genetically modified phage infects bacterium just like a natural infection. It can transfer the gene to the bacterium. Hope you are clear. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.